Hey, welcome back. We have a knife here, one I'm very excited about. Um, this box is kind of upside down, but we'll, uh, we'll figure it out. This is another Oz Roosevelt. And uh, what's kind of unique about this is I got one and then I found someone that was looking for that one and traded them for this one. And they had just won this one on the uh, drop. So this is like, it should be like brand new. We'll see. Um, you never know, but should be like brand new here. And uh, this was a really cool one, actually, from uh, what I saw. You never know until you get it in hand, but it's like the loosest ones ever come out of there. That's kind of nice for a change to be able to get it out. Um, but yeah, it's a really cool pattern. It's kind of what I was hoping. So this is number 1308, making it the newest one that I have. I think my next old or youngest is number 1202 but you have a matching pocket clip backspacer and you know what it says here it says radial million all tie it doesn't really say what it is but it's almost like a like a stone wash anno or something I, he, i've seen this on a couple of his knives and i'm not quite sure what it is so maybe you can put in the comments what exactly this finish is or maybe i'll ask a buddy and i'll put it in the description when i drop this uh when I drop this video, but um, it's a really neat finish because you get kind of this like dark wash look. And in this case, it's like Anno de Bronze. You got the bronze hardware, which is really nice. Um, yeah, this is cool. Uh, let's, uh, let's give it a little whirl. Brilliant as always, of course. Great edge as usual. Maybe a little less at the tip. We have to give it a quick test. <clears throat> Gosh, they just make such great knives. But that's a really cool, really cool variant. You know, they have a lot of different variants that they put out. Um, love the Stonewash blade as always. This latest version of Stonewash they're doing just has a lot of life in it, which is cool. Uh, you're just going to see a lot of inflection when the light hits it and reflection in different directions which i really love just gonna give it one final wipe down here on my shirt <clears throat> which i know is clean and uh yeah Oof. this is really good action for such a new knife very smooth snappy as always Feels great. Whoops. User error there. One for three. Um, yeah, beautiful variant. Really excited that the seller uh, wanted uh, what I got. What I got was actually just one of the sort of plain Jane versions, but the seller wanted to take one and do uh, customization on it. So he needed a plain Jane one so that they didn't have to uh, do a bunch of, you know, reduction of the anno and whatever finish and stuff. So it worked out really well for him. And for me, he won the knife, you know, that he, he got the knife he needed at drop price. And then I got, you know, a knife at plain Jane price, which is a little lower on the secondary and then traded it for a really nice, uh, unique finish here. So yeah, really excited to have this one. I have a mag coming into, which is my first mag finish. And then really, Crosshatch is the last one that I don't have, aside from getting into some of the rare like Timascus and Carbon variants. But in terms of like the full titanium common variants, uh, this kind of uh, is the last one. I'll just show you. This is the first one I ever got. Um, and it was number 1202. Number 12. Oh, this is 1114 actually, sorry, that's right. That was the first one that I ever got and that's like a full dark wash. And I really like it, but man, this one has just a little something extra, I have to say. They're both really good. I could totally, uh, totally like both of these, honestly, but now that I'm getting this one in hand, and I thought I would just generally like this one more, but this one's definitely got a little, it's, it's so subtle too, right? It's not like, a blingy pocket clip or anything like that. It's just a very subtle little something extra with the uh, polished hardware. Normally I kind of like them all the same, honestly. Um, so it's kind of 
I'm kind of surprising myself a little bit how much I like that, uh, that variant. Very, very nice. Very nice. Roosevelt, 1308, born on January 23rd. Today is just two weeks after that. And, um, oh no, uh, sorry, January 27th of 23. Now is just two weeks after that. Magna Cut, Radial Milling. Just a really cool, cool variant there. Glad to, uh, get my hands on this. The people that love the radial know what I'm saying. Like the people that love the radial love the radial. <laughs> they will not settle for anything else. I'd say the same with the golf putter. The people that love the golf putter love the golf putter. Um, there's just some some designs that they do that if you get your heart set on it, you really want that design and pretty stoked to have two of these because it feels like when the radials go for sale, they go super fast. And yeah, the, the radial lovers are very serious about their radials. So glad to have it. Very, very nice. Thanks to the seller. Um, hope uh, hope this was interesting. Feel free to throw, throw a comment in there if you know anything about this finish, which is very unique. And uh, yeah, please like, subscribe. I will see you on the next one. Take care.